Amity Airfield. One of the hardest scenarios in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it has a very challenging goal of getting 3,000 guests in four years and having a decent park rating by the end. A lot of people struggle with this scenario because the guest goal is so high, causing many to fail by not building enough rides to attract guests or running out of money in the process. So beating this park is already tough. You need tons of rides just to get enough people to come to your park and stay there. I mean, there's no way you can beat it by building none of them. Right? Right? At the very least, they need stalls so they don't starve. Otherwise, you'll lose Amity Airfield's objective. Well, what if I told you the way to win was to actually lose? What if we made a park that was so incredibly bad that it was amazing? In order to create this quote-unquote bad park, we need to use either Vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. For reasons I will explain later, this will not work on Open RCT 2. We begin by taking a flight to this abandoned airport. Once there, the first thing we'll do is market our park to the public. Out of all the advertisements, there's only two we can select. Vouchers for free entry to the park and advertising campaign for the park. We can't run the other ads because we're not building any rides or stalls. The next thing we'll do is raise the park entrance. $10 won't be enough to run ads over the course of four years. Because guests spawn at a minimum of $45, we'll charge $45 for the entry. After that, we open the airfield for business and build this no entry sign because that's all it takes for people not to leave this park for some reason. And that's it. The only thing we have to do is continue scamming people with false advertising and never get sued because no one is allowed to leave and get a lawyer. In the meantime, let's explain what we're doing. We'll switch over to OpenRCT2 because there exists a plugin called Park Rating Inspector that shows us how the park rating works. There are several factors that influence the park rating. These include the number of guests, how many happy guests we have, total ride excitement, total ride intensity, amount of litter, if a casualty has occurred and how many casualties there are, and number of guests who are lost and cannot find the park exit, aka number of lost guests. There also exists average ride uptime, average ride excitement, and average ride intensity. Those stats only show up if there are rides that have been built or tested. The total ride excitement and intensity will always be zero because we don't have any rides. For many of you all watching, I am sorry to say we will not be killing anyone in this park over the course of four years as we cannot build any death coasters and drowning guests is not needed to beat the objective. Because there are no stalls, there will be no litter. This leaves only three factors. The number of guests, how many of them are happy, and the number that are lost and cannot find the park exit. Let's start with the first statistic. For every 13 guests we have in the park, our park rating increases by one. This rating caps at 153. Next is the number of happy guests. It goes up by six points for every percentage of happy guests. Since everyone will be crowded together, they will become very unhappy very quickly. So this statistic is essentially negligible. This leaves us with the number of lost guests. After we have 25 lost guests, the park rating goes down by 7 points for each lost guest. What's important about this stack compared to the others is that there is no lower bound. All the other factors that influence the park rating are bounded on both sides. Because one side is unbounded, that means we can exploit the park rating as low as we want to. In video games, you can't usually get a number to be infinite in some way, there's usually some bound to it. This is also the case in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Based on some observations that we'll see later, I believe the total range for the park rating is 2 to the power of 16, or 65,536, with the minimum and maximum bounds either being from negative 32,768 to 32,767, or from negative 32,767 to 32,768. If we get enough lost guests, we can cause the park rating to plummet all the way down to the lowest value. That means it will have to underflow to the highest possible value next. As a result, the park rating will become way, way above what we need. Now obviously this game does not display these large numbers. If the park rating is below zero, it will say zero. If it is above 999, it will be 999. However, we only need the park rating to be 600 or higher. So, as long as it says at least 600, that's all that matters. 
As to why this does not work in open RCT2, it's because these bounds were changed to be a lot larger, likely to stop various issues. No matter how many guests I get, I cannot get the park rating to roll over. I even tried this on the oldest official version of open RCT2 I could still download, version 0.0.2, and it still does not work. At some point in open RCT2's development, these bounds were changed. With that in mind, how many guests will this require? First, we need to add 153, as that is the maximum positive rating you can have from the number of guests. To get to the underflow point, we'll need to get 153 plus 32,768, or 32,921 penalty from the park rating. To get the number of guests required, we first divide 7 from 32,921, and then we add 25 since the first 25 guests don't count. This means we need 4,728 lost guests to reach the underflow point, ignoring the factor from happy guests. With that factor, you may need a few more. If we look at the Park Rating Inspector plugin from OpenRCT2, the time this will roll over is around 5,000 total guests. We're going to need a lot of guests to do this. Normally we need rides and stalls to get them in the park. Since we're building none of that, we need another way to get guests. Advertising will generate guests regardless if there are rides or not. By adding the no entry sign and closing it, they cannot leave. Note that for a guest to count as lost, they need to be lost and cannot find the park exit. It doesn't seem to be just the number of guests that are leaving the park, but some number close to that. Alright, the math portion of this video is done now. Let's go back to classic with our totally humane experiment and make some fun, very scientific observations. We see that most of everyone is crowding around the brown path. That's because guests are trying to leave, and the brown path is the only way to the exit. There are some roaming the runways. If we look at the people around the runway, we notice a lot of them are still walking around and have not decided to leave the park yet. Once they decide to leave, they will exit the runway and go to the brown path to leave. What's interesting is that in open RCT2, the area the guests circle around is different. They go around the brown path close to the airport, as well as the beginning area, this is because OpenRCT2 has changed the pathfinding algorithm, so it works better in most cases. For example, guests are a lot less likely to go down a dead end. Because there is a no entry sign on the path leading to the exit, they will likely avoid it. As soon as we change the sign to open, the guests will decide to go down the former dead end. Aww, aren't they such cute little ants? For the sake of science, let's observe Ted here. He saw advertising for the park in the local paper and felt incentivized to check it out. Unfortunately for him, it's not as exciting as it seems. Ted was already unhappy when he came in. Because he gets shoved around by everyone trying to leave, he quickly becomes angry. As he wanders the runway, he becomes curious about the possibility of a divine being watching his every move. He then sees there are no airplanes in sight and decides it's time to go. Unknowing to Ted, his fate is already sealed. In fact, he becomes so mad that his face turns into a piece of paper. We then leave Ted to wander and starve with the remainder of everyone else in Amity Airfield, which should really be named Animosity Airfield at this point. Now back to the main experiment. Well over a thousand guests want to leave, despite there being enough reasonable cause to escape this park by any means necessary. As the owner of the park though, I accept their compliance as all I care about is beating the objective. We have reached 2,000 guests and just unlocked a flying roller coaster, which we will never build because roller coasters are totally lame. It is now year 3 and we're at the halfway point. The number of victims, I mean guests, has reached 2,500. We need close to 5,000 for the park rating to underflow. At this rate, we may have enough guests in the nick of time. Later that year in May, we hit the desired guest goal. The park rating for Animosity Airfield has plummeted to the center of the Earth where the gates of hell lie, as well as everyone here. By the start of year 4, we have almost 4,000 damn souls, most of which are very lost by now. Because of how many people are being tortured down here, I, the almighty ruler of this park, have now accepted my position as the new Dark Lord of the Roller Coaster Tycoon universe. We still don't have enough to fulfill my desire, so we continue with our unholy plan. It's October year 4. We have less than one month to get enough lost souls. Is this even possible? Will I, the Dark Lord, fulfill my desire, 
or will more victims need to suffer for another eon? And on October 9th, the park rating bar fills up all the way with almost 5,000 victims. It dips down to zero a few times due to the randomness with the number of happy or lost souls, which I'm surprised anyone is happy down here. Eventually, it does stay at 999. And lastly, our advertisements to the gates of hell have run out. We don't need to run any more, as we have enough lost souls and a maxed out park rating. We need merely to wait until March 1st of year 5. With just over 5,000 souls, and a park rating of 666, I mean 999, we have beaten Animosity Airfield. As this wicked year begins, the fiery rains of hell shower down on the damned. They commemorate our vile victory by clapping and cheering for the merciless master. Eventually the festivity ends, and the happy hurrahs return to sorrowful cries. However, cry no longer they shall. To celebrate this victory, we shall do one merciful act, letting the damned be free. As we have fulfilled our desires, we let them fulfill theirs. They trek past the gates of hell into the black void of oblivion, a fate kinder than endless eternity in Animosity Airfield. Thank you to Dirklink for the guide on how the park rating works, and Basie for the park rating inspector plugin. Links will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I would strongly recommend liking it and subscribing to this channel. For if you do not, you may one day find yourself a guest in Amity Airfield.